Hi, uh, today I want to review a little bit about HP Stream 8 running on Windows 8.1 and upgradable to Windows 10. Okay, this is the box. It's got nothing inside. It's just a, a booklet and a charger and that's all and the USB cable there and let me see uh, another interesting part about this product is it's about $200 probably Australian dollar or less and it's very cap capable tablet and it comes with global Wi-Fi access included I don't know if you can activate this outside the US I know for sure if you go to the US uh, that is included okay let's see the product itself uh, let's see that uh, this is the tablet let's see uh, it's 8 inch they got a 7 inch and 8 inch this is okay let's see on the side there is volume rocker and uh, that's a on off button and there's a USB and that is a, a headphone headset and it this is a 32 gigabytes uh, internal drive and uh, expandable to micro SD I think you need to open this up to put in your micro SD uh, I haven't tried it yet there is something here you can pry open okay this is uh, originally running on Windows 8.1 I upgraded successfully to Windows 10 and this is very nice uh, it's kind of mixed feeling for me so, uh, whether I like this Windows 10 on the tablet or not because there is some still hiccups for the tablet uh, for example, when I tried the tablet, it is just, let me see here, hang on a second, I'll log into the tablet, I actually hate it, you need to log in every time, yeah, I know, you can uh, try not to put a your email there but uh, if you don't do that uh, there are a lot of capabilities that's not going to work like your email uh, and stuff okay this is Windows 10 uh, you can see it's running quite smoothly and just uh, some hiccups maybe uh, for general Windows 10 I think Windows 10 is still quite buggy and you can see here still 60% and let me see uh, okay I think it's happening again uh, you see the keyboard is not there let me see if it's coming up after I open it okay see there mm, still not there usually it's showing a keyboard here Key keyboard icon it doesn't show up there let's see okay it's okay it's coming up now some uh, last time I tried it wasn't coming up at all uh, the tablet itself I think it's running smooth no complaint about it mostly my complaint is uh, Windows 8 or even Windows 10 I still think it's not 
suitable for tablet at all. Um, okay, this is the specification. The battery is 4000 mAh. Uh, display is resolution is 1280 by 800 pixels and it's quite capable. That's 1.8 gigahertz chipset processor, 1 giga RAM, 32 gigabyte internal drive, and it's expandable. Uh, the camera is actually pretty good. Uh, I think it is important for tablet to have a good camera. I don't know why people say it's not important because many people using tablet for business or as for work, sometimes you need to have a snapshot of your uh, paperwork. And if you can have a good camera with autofocus, you can just snap it and look clear everything. I think that's the advantage. You see rear camera is 5 megapixel, front camera is 2 megapixel. Uh, Windows 8.1 originally and everything else. It doesn't have the HDMI output, but you can always put a OTG cable. Some of them comes with GSM micro SIM card capability, but this one is Wi-Fi only. Uh, what else? It doesn't have FM radio. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got uh, Bluetooth and it has GPS okay so in general I like this tablet for about $150 or $200 uh, it's good for work I think if you have the keyboard but for tablet I, I don't know it's more capable actually than uh, Android and it's running faster with this same specification but uh, it's just I think it's just not enjoyable using tablet for media consum consumption yeah, yeah, I can show you here uh, when this is just a general complaint about uh, Windows Windows 8 and it's also same thing with Windows 10 It's not launching now. Uh, actually, I want to show you how big the uh, how big the there you go. It's just covering everything, and there is no way to resize this. Maybe you can move around, but not really resizing. See, you can move it around, but you cannot resize. It's just covering the whole, like, half of the tablet. I think it's terrible. I think that's all for now. I like the tablet. Everything's good, but I think with a couple more updates, maybe, from uh, Microsoft, we'll get a more stable tablet. Windows 10 tablet. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.